Victoria. Oh, hi, Julie. Hi, Martha. Hey. Hello there. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, gang. Oh, now that's everyone that was in the waiting room. I know there's going to be more. Yes, there will definitely be more joining us. I, I don't see any of the men yet. Oh, who needs them? I do. <laughs> Ernie just went to fill my wine glass again. <laughs> he just went to the kitchen. He'll be back shortly. <laughs> oh, it seems like forever since we've been together at the Adult Rec Center. Oh, thank you, Gloria, for being the host of our Zoom party. You are welcome. I knew I could rely on my helper here to make it happen. <laughs> well, that is a good thing because I get all confused on these types of calls. I understand your granddaughter is the computer genius. Well, I've had a lot of classes on Zoom during the pandemic. She has been a huge help. Well, the whole family has. Do you know that they had me come live with them after Harold? Pass. Oh, bless his soul. Thank God for family. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We had seven respond, but I only see three of you. Oh. <laughs> well, now we have four. Hi, Ernie. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Let's get this party started. <laughs> Oh, Ernie, we'll wait a little longer for the other folks to join us before we get too wild. <laughs> hmm, Maxine, Earl, and Mabel, that they couldn't make it, but they send their best. <laughs> so what have we all been up to? Well, I just got a new hearing aid, although sometimes it doesn't work real well. Oh, well, I have the number for someone who can help you with that if you want it. Grandma, you have three more people who need to be brought in from the waiting room. Frank, Bill, and Sugar and Spice. Sugar and Spice? I don't know anyone by that name. Sugar and Spice sounds like fun. Sure could use some sugar to spice things up a bit. <laughs> Nobody comes to see us old people. Behave yourself. Be grateful for the sugar you get. You're diabetic. Let's bring Frank and Bill in first. Hey, Julie, hey, everybody. Oh, looks like we have another guest to help our less computer savvy selves. Oh, who's this, Frank? This is Ethan. He's eight and he knows all about this Zooming stuff. <laughs> Although he's had a lot of caffeine and candy tonight. I moved in with my son and his family Ed, when all this started. And Ethan's my buddy, aren't you? No, not the tickle monster. <laughs> Where, where's Bill? I, I see his name there, but no Bill. Thank you, Bill. Oh, no. oh, Bill, you're such a flirt. I missed oh. you. Let's see who our mystery guest is. Gloria? Hi, it's Rhoda! Hi, <laughs> you know? Rhoda! I didn't recognize your nickname. <laughs> My niece didn't change it. You see, this is her home office. She's in sales. What does she sell? Well, uh, honestly, I thought it was baked goods, but I'm beginning to think it's different. You see, she's in business with her sister, Lexi, who lives in the city with her boyfriend, John, who happens to be the head of the whole operation. But I think my nieces do all the work. They say their clients just love their products and business is Booming! Hey, Roxy, I need your help. Looks like everyone is here now. I'll be in my room if you need me. I, I got a mask up. You see, we can't be unsafe around here because sometimes Roxy, she goes into the city for business and you don't know where those people have been. It's <clears> true. <throat> You never know how many people my clients have been with. Contact tracing would be a nightmare. And it's all about extra safety these days. So when I do have to go to the city to make a transaction, we make sure each individual unit is wrapped for the consumer safety. 
I much prefer online business these days. And who is this? Oh, oh, this is Roxanne. She just got out of the shower. Hi, Roxanne. Hi, everyone. Oh, that's so cute, Aunt Rhoda. <laughs> I am so glad that your sales are up. It, it's just been so rough on small businesses these days. Oh, thank you so much. You know, when the pandemic first hit, it hit us hard, but we were able to take our small business and make it into a much larger one. Ooh. You know, actually it's a little bit easier than when we were hustling our products on the street. You know, it's so important that we get behind small businesses in this time of need it's true most businesses don't get so lucky you see she moved in with me when the stay at home order started well she's she's always at home i you know but she has the door closed she's on the computer she's up all day and sometimes all night I don't see how she gets a rest. Well, welcome, Roxanne. Virtual hug. <laughs> oh, maybe you can take some time out of your busy schedule to help us liven up the party. You know, since you do business on the computer, I thought maybe you might have a few tricks up your sleeve, you know, to add to the entertainment. I don't have a lot of experience with online entertainment, but just a forewarning, we can get a little crazy. Hey. <laughs> a few samples for the winners of the game. Ooh. I want to win. You know, I'll have to ask Lexi's John if he's okay to provide some samples, but I don't see why he wouldn't want to expand our business into the senior community. Oh, well, isn't she just something? <laughs> you know, Roxy, can you change that background a little bit? You see, we look like two Miss Piggies on a blanket. <laughs> oh, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> well, all of us at the Sunshine Adult Recreation Center cannot wait to see you all in person, you know, but until then, Gloria suggested that we could all get together by computer to catch up and play games and, oh, excuse me for a second, I, I have to get my activity list. <laughs> Adult Recreation Center. Sounds like a lot more fun than what we were having. And a lot better toys too. Bill, behave. You are awful. Bill, what are you doing over there? I'm looking at Sugar and Spice's Facebook page. Well, what do you see? Well, there's a link here. Whoa, I'm seeing a lot. Roxy, what is he looking at? Oh, there's a lot to see on my website, Gigi. I have this video chat option for my clients to help them with their needs. Oh, but Bill. I can help you out. Just FaceTime me later by calling. Don't you dare. God, you're going to give the poor man a heart attack. Oh, well, I mean, some of my products may be too much for him, but I would never suggest something he couldn't handle. Now, some like no toppings. That's where seniors can really get into trouble. You know, for special needs, I always suggest a little more spice, a little less sugar, because sugar, as we know, can raise their blood pressure. Why don't you stick to someone your own age, Bill? Are you offering? Oh, Bill, you're so naughty. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. It's been since March. Shh. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, you, you might as well just... Hush. What are they talking about, Pat? Well, when they were uh, when they when they were at the farm in March. Yeah. Oh, you see a lot of cows and chickens and mm -hmm. uh, what are they? horses. Yeah. <gasps> yes, and Charlotte even took one for a ride. Bill, it was a little rough the first time, but if at first you don't succeed, try try again and again. Bill, you're you're so 
not to change the subject or anything. Oh, please, please do. Please yeah. do. Yeah. We better. But did everybody get the wine I sent you for Christmas from my winery? Got mine right here. Oh, we got a head start. I already opened mine. Roxy, can you get some glasses? Thank you for the wine, Frank. <laughs> got it. Well, if you don't have it in front of you, go and get it and fill your glasses so we can toast 2021. This is so exciting. <laughs> Ethan, get pop, pop that special glass over there, will you? Yes, Pat. Oh, I'll have to get a glass too. Be right back. Age to perfection. This wine was in my cellar for 50 years. Watch out. It has a little higher alcohol content than you're used to. 1971 was a great year. Why don't we play a drinking game? We could play spin the bottle. And if we land on Roxy, she has to give a surprise. No, silly, a drinking game. It can really liven up a party. Got one. Whenever anyone says at the farm, we take a drink. And when anyone makes somebody say at the farm, we take Two drinks. Ooh. It'll drive Julie crazy. <laughs> Frank, should we? Here she comes. Here she comes. Okay, Frank. Do the honors. Here's to a better 2021. Well, hey, yes. 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 We'll get back on that horse and show them what we're made of. <laughs> That's the spirit. Ride them, cowboy. <laughs> Mm. Oh, this is so delicious, Frank. Mm. Mm. Vintage 1971. You know, I was born in the 70s. I bet you all have some wild stories about those days. <laughs> well, I can tell you about my first experience with... Well, let's all be adults here. I am being an adult. I was just going to share my first experience with working at the farm. At the oh, farm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, Ernie, Ernie. Oh, look, it's here. Ernie, <laughs> why aren't you wearing pants? Because I'm sitting down. Why bother wearing pants? <laughs> Plus, it's Wednesday night. And I was, well, let's just say Martha and I were going to make a little hay. <laughs> At the farm? At the farm. At the farm. At the farm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I miss something? <laughs> ah, who was at the door, honey? It was just a gas man. He wants you to trim around your meter so we can get a better look at it. <sighs> the meter is below the deck, and it can get really scruffy down there if Ernie lets it go. <laughs> if he can find it. <laughs> What, what about Peter? It's me, <laughs> well, what about it? <laughs> He's got to trim around it so the guy can look at it. Oh, Ernie, you might want to get that taken care of. Why does he need to look at it? <laughs> to see the volume of gas flow. <laughs> <laughs> well, if gas is the problem, shouldn't he be looking at the rear? Instead of at the front? Adjust your hearing aid, Charlotte. <laughs> I think this wine is getting to us a little bit early here tonight. And, and Martha, we wouldn't want to interrupt you and Ernie because, you know, it is Wednesday night. <laughs> oh, Ernie, you told him. Now I'm just not going to be in the mood. <laughs> Well, maybe I can change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you stop? <laughs> Ethan, why 
why don't you go watch TV or something? Like <laughs> Isn't SpongeBob on? He's <laughs> wearing pants. Go on, go on. How's it going, Grandma? I think it's going okay. I'll card it if I need anything. Oh, wait. While you're here, could you change my background? <gasps> oh, oh, glorious! That is beautiful. Where was your picture taken? Down at the lake. <laughs> Wait a minute! Did you say lake or farm? Close enough. <laughs> oh, I've had my share of good times at the lake. That's my girl. <laughs> he was hey, Farmer Lake, your house or mine, all acceptable locales in my book. Did you say whorehouse? Oh. <laughs> I would respectfully accept that as a venue as well. Hey, you know, I can tell you about the good old days. I'll be in the den if you need me. Looks like you're having a good time. Okay, dear. <laughs> Ethan, excuse me, folks. Ethan just fell off the coffee table. Oh, I hope he's okay. Oh, good boy, Jack. Just get him up. It'll work. Hey, Charlotte, how long have you been dating Bill? What? On the pill? Oh, Gloria, I don't need to take that anymore. <laughs> I said, how long have you been dating Bill. Oh, I don't hate Bill. We had a fling just in March. Oh, <laughs> is everyone going to get vaccinated? Hey, I'll be the first in line to get me some of that vaccine. Why do you want vaccine? And there's a line? Oh, the floozy. Does her husband Earl know about this? Vaccine. What? I'm talking about getting some of that new vaccine. I have to go back in 30 days after the first injection to get another dose for the full effect. Well, I don't know what's so new about Maxine. She's got to be at least 90. And who says she's going to still be around in a month when you go back for seconds? Vaccine. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> well, you can e easily get the vaccine. Maxine is married, and Earl would just get in the way. Hey, uh, what happened to Ernie and Martha? What do you think they're doing? <laughs> oh, I just... I just, I just went to get a little, a snack, a snack, but I, oh, I dropped it. Oh, oh it's a, if somebody gave us one of those Hickory Farm samplers and we didn't open it yet. This, there's a cheese and a, oh, a savory summer sausage. <laughs> Sounds delicious. I got one of those samplers too, but, but mine had nuts. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but this savory snack reminds me <laughs> of summer's Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what's going on here. I cannot believe I let this go on. I'm such an idiot. Everyone is sharing what they got each other for Christmas. And I'm going to go get something and bring it back for a little show and tell. So don't go anywhere and don't show anything until I come back. Okay. I want to play show and tell. Show and tell. Oh, I'm a little honey. hard of hearing. Ethan fell off the coffee table. He flamed barn animals and he jumped off the coffee table to lasso the dog and the dog won. <laughs> oh, honey, are you okay? Oh, this will make it all better. 
don't worry, Frank. He can sit with us. We'll behave. <laughs> Whoa, ho, ho. What is this? Well, no fair. Julie said that's the show or anything, so she got back. Oh. <laughs> On mute, Charlotte. On mute. You have to unmute. Oh, you're cute too, Bill. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> you know how I like to bring vintage games like Operation and Rock'em Sock'em Robots to the center for us to play? Does anyone remember this one? It's called the Game of Perfection. <laughs> Rhoda knows how much we enjoy games and imagine my surprise when I suggested that we play a drinking game every time someone said at the firm farm what farm at the farm yeah what he said every time someone said that we would drink some wine and then if someone could get someone to say then we would drink Two times. I think maybe we're all getting to be a little tipsy. Uh, I think I'm getting a little tipsy too. Why? Because that ain't perfection. Roxanne, get in here. You know, maybe we should call it a night because it's Wednesday night and this is beginning to get a little frisky. Risky. Uh, all this talk, all this wine consummation. Uh, I mean, who knows what we may say sex say next. Barn Swelk is on. I need to go relax. And let Lawrence work his magic on me. So I am going to take a bubble bath. So turn on the bubble machine. Roxanne Goldolovinsky. What happened to that new massage gun I told you to put on Julie's doorstep? That is what I put on a doorstep. It, when the came uh, from Amazon, it was dented, so I put it in an old game box after I put batteries in to test it. You know, it is really invigorating. Did you know it was motion sensitive? You tried it? What? I wanted to make sure it worked because the box was dented. Hey, let everybody go. I wanted to find out the needs and preferences. Needs and preferences? Yeah, for, for sugar and spice. Hey, come on. Bakery goodies. Oh, well, you want one? No. Okay. Oh, what a night. You can say that again. That party went south pretty fast. Yeah. I hope to see you soon, Bill. Just like this bottle of vintage wine, I am aged to perfection. And you don't want to wait until I get past my prime. 
You behave, Bill. Until we can get back at the farm. <laughs> Where is this farm? It sounds like one hell of a good time. <laughs> well, bye-bye, everybody. We should really do this again sometime. And thanks for the massage gun, Rhoda. Pow, pow. <laughs> Roxy, I'll call you. Oh!